and we're gonna take you guys on the journey of renovating the wood shop to the cottage. And then we've had a global pandemic. So then I think at that point we were like, okay, this could happen. The hardwood floors just got laid. Oh my gosh, yeah. Like so many people last year, my mom ended up losing her job. And I was like, well, if you want to buy it, we'll sell it to you for what we have in it. We are on the way to reveal the cottage to Thomas's mom, Lila. We're on the front porch waiting for us. Here's our setup to record. All right, mom, you can come in. Can you believe that this is your new home? All right, mom, you can come in. <laughs> this wall is gonna be taken down and turned into a taste opening. So it'll be kind of framed in like a picture opened to the kitchen, which will be on the other side of this. Can you believe that this is your new home? No. Mm -hmm. All day, me and Sydney have been talking about how we can't believe they're actually gonna live here because it's so beautiful and it's like our favorite project that we've ever done. Isn't this gorgeous? Yeah. So this is the quartz site. You remember that you helped us oh, wow. sort of pick out. That's your stove that you picked out. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, the that high. Was the, yes. Yeah, that was the little add-on that I wanted to do. I love that. I love that. Yeah. PJ installed these shelves yesterday. You have another one over here to the right. And nothing is like, you know, it doesn't have, this is all your stuff, so it's all staying, obviously, but none of it has to be, you know, where you want it to be. And not everything's finished. That door has to get painted. Yeah, and we didn't have a chance to clean or mop. We cleaned as much as we could. We didn't mop. Yeah. So this room could either serve as a dining room, it could be a little sitting room off of the kitchen. We're planning for it to be a dining room. I love it. Mm-hmm. So your table fits. It's kind of snug, but I feel like it fits fine. I don't feel small. No, I don't either. Yeah. And I think it, if you didn't use that, like if you had Thanksgiving, you could always add a leaf yeah. and, and just not use that door, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then your spice. Oh yeah, you can do spices for here. Your spice rack. PJ built, you know PJ, well you already saw that, right? PJ well, this built was, that. This was dead space. So behind there is plumbing stuff. So this box had to be here, but instead of losing that space, yeah. I guess. That was That was And then you have your drawers, which they are packed with stuff right now. <laughs> yeah, you have a lot of storage in this kitchen. I love the trash cans. Mm-hmm. These are craft made and they're solid wood, they're not that particle. And they're the soft clothes. Yeah, I, I saw Did you see your copper safe? I'm overwhelmed. I know. Really I'm overwhelmed. I am obsessed. We want to do and that at Holiday House. Garbage disposal is here. Yeah, it's so funny because I thought about that last night. Uh -huh. I mean, sure, that's got to go. Yeah. 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 He wouldn't. And you have your gas range for the first time in 10 years again. This is. Can't wait to light a cigarette on it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'll say that. I hope about it. I love those. Yeah, we were just gonna do the Ikea one, but I found these. And uh, I still think that eventually, yeah. this section is gonna get added to your, I think you should do tall pantry, tall pantry, but use this one as a coat closet. Yeah. This has a broom thing, and then a small cabinet here that you could even do a cushion on, yes. and then have either a drawer stack. Yes. And then you get the cabinet space that you need. Isn't this? Because I, I love how yeah. you did it. I love how you did it oversized. And this will fit oh four to five bar stools. So yeah. like when you have girl, girls' night, yeah. I think this is where we're gonna end up doing it. Because this is where I would want to entertain. You can do all your little 
or yeah, this would be cute. It's like the perfect entertaining area. It's just got so much prep space. That's why mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah, I oversized this one. Yeah. It's got deep this is. Yeah. yeah. So even if you have a microwave here, you still have almost a full yeah. counter. Yeah. I mean, I can just take dress clothes and make back for the line. You know, we use my shirt as a little. And then I was thinking about this could be your coffee area. Yeah. And toaster, then maybe. Okay. I've always wanted these kind of. Open shell? Yeah. yeah. That person has to be dishes. No, these are your dishes. Yeah. This room is going to be their closet. It's, we built it as like a tiny little guest bedroom, but the plan originally was for it to be a bunk room. Yeah. So there would have been bunk beds here. Mm -hmm. But it makes more sense for it to be the closet because it's right off of the washer dryer. Yeah. Alright, yo, let's look, we're not finishing. Alright, let's look at the bathroom. So this is the guest bath. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I love it there. Oh my god, I love all the whites. Isn't I it gorgeous? It. It's so relaxing. It's so clean and so crisp. And... Oh! Wait, wait till the girls see this. <laughs> so we are home from Holiday House for a few days, and I wanted to take a moment to talk about the sponsor of today's video. Y'all, today's video is sponsored by our friends over at Head & Shoulders because they are releasing their new Clinical Dandruff Defense Collections. I've been using this for a while now. I've gotta say, one, it works, and two, I'm obsessed. So as a little backstory, I have suffered from dandruff for as long as I can remember. It's actually one of the reasons why I never used to cut my hair or wear my hair short whenever I was younger because I didn't want people to see the dandruff. I know now that dandruff is so common and is something that is nothing to be embarrassed about or ashamed about. It is literally just a part of life for some people, including myself. So whenever Head & Shoulders reached out to partner with us for the release of their clinical dandruff defense collections, we were more than excited and immediately said yes. So the new Head & Shoulders clinical dandruff defense collections are formulated to fight severe dandruff and y'all, it actually really works. So the new collections include a variety of products in multiple forms across three dandruff fighting benefits, dry scalp rescue, advanced oil control, intensive itch relief, so the Advanced Oil Control Shampoo and 2-in-1 Clinical Strength is dermatologist designed. It contains 1% selenium sulfide, which is the secret to this powerful dandruff solution. The selenium sulfide provides 35% more dandruff fighting power, and it starts working twice as fast to target the most stubborn dandruff. And how it works is it deeply cleans to target your most persistent scalp problems at the source, deep in the pores. Okay, so up next you have the Dry Scalp Rescue Shampoo shampoo, conditioner, and moisturizing scalp cream. The dry scalp shampoo relieves scalp dryness and nourishes the scalp while utilizing selenium sulfide to quickly fight dandruff. The conditioner deeply conditions and nourishes utilizing zinc pyrithione, which provides dandruff fighting benefits. And the scalp cream hydrates and nourishes the scalp between washes while zinc pyrithione protects the scalp from dandruff and dryness after washing. And lastly, you have the intensive itch relief two-in-one, the shampoo, and the scalp mist. So the shampoo and the 2-in-1 are prescription strength and include 1% selenium sulfide and the 2-in-1 delivers a refreshing feeling to your scalp while both cleansing and conditioning the hair 
utilizing selenium sulfide. And lastly, the scalp mist is formulated with zinc perithione to soothe the dandruff itch to leave the scalp refreshed in between washes. So we wanna give a huge thank you to Head & Shoulders and their new Clinical Dandruff Defense Collections for sponsoring today's video. The Clinical Dandruff Defense Collections are available right now at Walmart. If you wanna find out more, you can click the link in our description below. Why don't we get back to the rest of today's video? Oh, oh, wait, wait until the girls see this. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. Oh, I love the lights. And so this we decided to do because obviously it's gonna have heat rises and it's open to below, so you need to circulate it. So. Oh, that is perfect. Listen to that nice. We actually have those fans on our back porch, or at least some like it. Are they the yeah. exact one? It's the same, but there's three settings, so if you want to turn down. Nice. Nice. Oh, so nice. We should find stuff like this that's really like ornate. It's I would do this whole It'll never in like snooty tooty art though, because the combination of that with this rustic wood is, I think it's really cool. Yeah. Yeah, you can walk in. Yeah, I'm like, oh yeah. Yeah, this is your house now. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I love it. What do you think of the tile, the penny tile? Isn't that fun? It's gorgeous, yeah. It's it hasn't fun. been cleaned yet. It's, it's, it's fun. And see, I would get a vanity that came almost right up to this, or even touching it all the way over. Mm -hmm. And then that gives you more storage and Okay, so we just showed my mom her upstairs bathroom. This is the primary bathroom. Um, and it's actually, PJ recreated it from one of our favorite hotels that we stayed at in Amsterdam last year called the Conservatorium. We stayed in it and our room had a bathroom layout just like this. And it's so cute. Oh, I love it. Thomas's mom has officially been in the cottage for over three months now. So why don't we go take a look to see how it's going. She is definitely still adjusting to the much smaller house. She did end up having to have a woodshed built out back, kind of in the same style and color as her house to store a few more things that she just did not get rid of. <laughs> but I think she's adjusting well. She is a lot closer to us and the kiddo, so that's nice. And I think the biggest thing that she's loving is that it's a brand new house. She's never 
actually lived in a, in a brand new house before. And so that was something really special for her and something very special for me that my husband could do for her. And I don't want to um, underplay that, that what PJ did was really extremely sweet for my mom. And I know that she is so grateful and I'm extremely grateful. So thank you so much for, um, for making a really nice house for my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I get emotional really easily, and so I had a feeling this was ha gonna happen. Oh, thank you. Anyways, I think that brings this video to an end. Like I said in the beginning, this video has taken over a year to create, so it's very special to us. I think it'll be exciting to be able to keep the cottage in the family and still get to visit it because we both put love into the, the cottage and I think your mom is gonna do the same. Like always, you know where to find us. Until next time. Bye y'all.